Just how big is the state of Maine? Well, consider this. Many Bay Staters have made the day's drive up to Acadia National Park, 300 hard miles up the coast. But pull out a map of Maine and you'll see that's not the half of it if your destination is the remote northern reaches of Aroostook County. We are to Maine as Maine is to the rest of New England. Kind of about that back bedroom upstairs. They call it the crown of Maine, as far north as one can go without a passport. Within the state, Aroostook is known simply and somewhat reverentially as the county. Up in the border town of Fort Kent, you'll find the very start of Route 1. And Fort Kent is as far from our station in Needham as Alexandria, Virginia. Little villages and a lot of farmland, a lot of woodland. The northernmost towns in the county lie in the St. John River Valley, the heart of Acadian culture. This area has a regional identity which is unique in the country. Don Sear is on a one-man mission to create a center for Acadian culture. Over the last 35 years, he has been collecting artifacts and restoring this old church in Lille, 500 feet from the Canadian border. It becomes an obsession for sure. You just have to be stubborn, that's all. And stubbornness is something I have in great supply. The French Acadians came to the St. John Valley in the late 1700s, expelled from the Canadian Maritimes by the British. Another large group of Acadians fled to Louisiana. Yes, we're cousins to the Cajuns in Louisiana, but we're still a different people uh, because we've been separated by 200 years. The Acadian flag is everywhere up here. About half the homes speak French as their first language. Everybody up here speaks French and we're known for the Acadian heritage. When it comes to Acadian food, everyone knows the place to go is Dolly's in Frenchville, where else? The classic dish, chicken stew and ploys. It's our substitute for dinner rolls. It comes with almost every meal, so they'll get three ploys with their meal automatically. Ploys, small buckwheat pancakes cooked by the waitress on a small griddle, so they're piping hot when served. Larry Hovland is here from California visiting family. They talked about ploys as some sort of manna from heaven, but they are very good, and they're a great medium for transporting butter. How big are ploys up here? Well, every year, the biggest in the world are cooked up on a 12-foot griddle at the annual Ploy Festival in Fort Kent. That's a French Acadian flatbread, and we grew up on that, and our ancestors grew up on that, and they brought it with them from Nova Scotia. Traditionally, recipes for ploys came down through families, but Joe Bouchard and his family felt theirs were just too good not to share with the world. Now, Bouchard's Ploys is the only commercial mix on the market. The buckwheat grown on their farm. See how small the grain is? And milled out behind their farm store. Ploys are us, right here. <laughs> not surprisingly, Ploy. We're not saying it quite right. No, it's a ploy. <laughs> I say ploy. <laughs> when Joey Nelson moved to Fort Kent from Oregon to marry a local girl, he had a steep learning curve. He and new wife Nicole were taking over Doris's Cafe, a longtime local favorite. Been a chef for 20 years, and some of the things I've seen up here, I was like, I have no idea how to make that. So it was definitely a learning curve. Or pronounce it. Yeah, or pronounce it. He still it. can't pronounce them. Things like cretonne, a pork spread that goes on ploys. It's an acquired taste, but it's quite delicious. Easier to warm up to, the desserts, like oatmeal pie. I never had one in my life, and then we made one the other day, and I tasted it, and I was like, where has this been? <laughs> like, it, it's one of the better pies I've ever had. The Nelson seemed to have gotten the seal of approval from the regulars at Doris's. In return, this local hangout lives on. This was one place that's been around for 60 years we didn't want to see go away. So we appealed to the farmers, the mechanics nearby, the guys working out in the woods, get everyone to still come here where it's nice and warm, eat a hearty meal, and still have money in their pocket when they go back out to the fields. And that makes them feel good. 
employees are most often served alongside main dishes at lunch and dinner, but some people have them at breakfast with fruit or syrup. Still others have them for dessert. Doris's Cafe has changed hands since we last visited and is now known as May Mare's. That's French, of course, for grandma. But not to worry, ploys are still on the menu. And we'll have more on a rustic's Acadian culture a bit later in our show. But next, at this school, homework gets an unusual reaction. <laughs> 